Welcome back to The Morning Show here on Arise News. Joining us now is OG Ekbe with stories trending from around the world. Good morning, OG. Good morning, Keturah. How are you? <laughs> I'm lovely very well, morning. thank you. Resplendent in pink, whilst you look gorgeous in black and white, <laughs> as you. ever. Thank you. Good Hello, morning, OG. OG. <laughs> Hi. Oh. Hi. Good morning, I Dr. Mean. How do you do? How are you? I'm great. So Can I hear you, you have so much... What? To tell us about what's trending, so what's happening. Oh, okay. I'll fill you in in a, in a bit, okay? All right. <laughs> and good morning to you viewers. We begin what's trending today in Nigeria. Nigerians on social media have reacted to the attack on the peaceful protest organized by a coalition of civil society groups over the continued detention of revolution now convener Omoya Leshoere. The convener of concerned Nigerians, Deji Adenyoju, and other journalists were attacked during the protest despite the presence of policemen. Users on Twitter have shared their concern about the incident. One user, Sami, wrote, the attack on comrade Deji Adenyoju by Nigerian government-sponsored hoodlums in the front of the Nigerian police is totally unacceptable. This injustice must stop. And those who support this tyranny will surely reap it. Justice must prevail. Lawyer and former presidential spokesman Femi Fanny Kayode wrote, The brutal attack on Deji Adenyoju this morning is totally unacceptable. This represents a new low by those that are behind it. We hold the government and their agents responsible and accountable for this wicked act. May God judge those behind it. I mean, this video, I know you guys saw, we talked about this earlier this morning on the news headline, the video of Deji being kicked by these anti um, Governments, this pro yes, these uh, absolutely disgusting. These um, um, protesters were a lot more than uh, I mean, these anti government activists were a lot more than the protesters. I believe there were about 60 of them, yes. and there were about like you know, 40 protesters that came out yesterday. It was such a graphic picture that was circulating of Deji on social media. I don't know if you guys saw that yeah, we did. when he was in the house. It's probably a sign of things to come, right? Yes. Because as we move towards 2023 and as Nigeria faces challenges in terms of citizen-government relationship, right. we are likely to still find Nigerians being divided, you know, uh, when there is a, a protest. If there's anybody who is a strategist for government, you know, uh, they've just seen, you know, what method they can use to intimidate anybody who is trying to protest against yeah. government. Yeah. Okay, you bring your own crowd, you say you want to uh, pick at a government office, or you want to uh, uh, challenge uh, President Buhari, then on the other side, you know, we'll, they will bring out the, the other crowd, also bearing the title of an NGO, and prepare to fight. Yeah. So, you know, uh, it's very unfortunate because uh, citizen engagement is something that is very useful for the purpose of deepening democracy. But when you find, you know, groups in civil society, right. you know, mm -hmm. rising against each other in this kind of brutish uh, primitive manner, either for gain or for ideological reasons, I think is very Well, it just goes to show that Nigerians are not able to protest now because this singular act alone is so dangerous it for is. us at this moment. It is. As a matter of fact, what even worries me is comments in social media about people asking if it is even worth it. Is Dede Adeyemju's right. fight, you know, for sure even worth it? And... It also now makes us understand why people do not want to go it's out It's always to worth it. Why people have died before. Of course before, it is. But like it is gay, worth it. There are certain people who have Definitely. died that we it speak is. about till now who have become martyrs it. for our government. It is worth it. For our Definitely country, it is. But it just, because we continuously, every single, every four years, we ask ourselves, well, everybody needs to go out and vote. But it's situations like this that make people sit down in their homes and tell themselves that, okay, you know what, there's no point. Because if police authorities can be there and watch this injustice yes, they happen, did, they this slap on the face yes. of the rule of law, then what exactly are we talking about? There is no rule of law. Absolutely. Well, you know, I was saying that uh, the policemen will still have to do their job. Because if their job is to protect lives and property, they cannot just stand arms and kimbo and watch people, you know, brutalizing others. Uh, just because they want to be seen uh, to be defending people who are supporting uh, the government. And the Jadion himself, I hope later, will get a, an opportunity to look at the uh, video of the assault on him. Yes, and he should and press charges. Find, absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Take this to the uh, ECOWAS courts. This yes. is absolutely reprehensible. Absolutely. Well, still in Nigeria on Monday, the Lagos State Environmental Protection Agency sealed off a nightclub belonging to a member of the Federal House of Representatives, Shinapella, because of noise pollution and traffic congestion. 
According to reports, the club had organized its 36-hour party, which ended at 8 a.m. Mr. Pella was detained by the police, according to his press secretary, for allegedly trying to bail some of his customers from the police station. Many Nigerians on Twitter had mixed reaction to the news. One Twitter user, Oloye, said, So the founder of Quillux, that is the nightclub, and the House of Representatives member, Shino Pella, went to bail out his customers that were illegally arrested. Then the police at Marako police station detained him as well. Police brutality has no status. Another, use, another user, Yushao, wrote, Quillux causes traffic, yes, but they pay taxes and stimulate the economy. Your churches and masks cause worse every Sunday and Friday. Do they pay taxes? <laughs> another user, Adeina Khan, tweeted, from the police press release regarding the arrest of Quillux boss, Gina Pella, it shows that the police decided to act today because the governor accidentally passed through that route today. They wouldn't have acted if the governor wasn't a victim of the gridlock around that axis. I think we need to be very careful yes. about the words that we choose to use because br police brutality is rampant in Nigeria. Correct. But from the reports that I've heard, there was no brutality upon Shinopella. They did, however, seize his phones as though they claim on Twitter as though he was an ESC, uh, Yahoo boy, rather. But it's interesting to note, like you said, that the only reason this has happened, because this party has been going on for years upon years, the only reason this happened is because the governor was trying yeah, to Yeah, that's what one through. Twitter user said. It's well, very interesting. Well, yes, there are two sides the to the story. There is the uh, Shino Abiola side. That's his real name. Um, and that of his colleague, Alabi, Tunde Alabi, who also seems to have been on the scene. And he says that, you know, uh, he went to the station to rescue customers and to get their vehicles out. And that at the end of the day, the police uh, were hostile towards him. And that at the same time, they were insisting that he should pay a sum of 100000 before those vehicles uh, that had been taken, you know, impounded, uh, could be released. That's one side of it. The second side of it, which is the police side, is that when Shino went to the, uh, you know, to the police station, the Morocco uh, uh, police station, that he went, he came with a gang of uh, thugs. They said about 50 Thugs. Well, I don't know the exact that. number. It may be exaggerated. <laughs> but that's what the police but that said. But he came with uh, a group of thugs, yeah. and at the end of the day, they were able to arrest some of them, including him, and some of the others fled. And they are accusing, you know, killers and uh, the owner, Shino Pella, of uh, constituting public nuisance, yeah. noise pollution. Noise pollution, number and one, for, which is a and big for, deal. And for, no, noise pollution is an offense. It is. Yes. And for I mean, obstructing traffic. Right. But, you know, in response to that second leg of it, Shino Pila says the club had, in fact, informed the police that they were going to have, you know, a 36-hour non-stop event, you know. And that, Which they do every yeah, year. Did they ask that police should help with traffic? The traffic. Did they approach Well, I Lassman? guess that's why he informed the police, to ask well, them to help. Well, you know, he didn't I mean, state, that's, that's, he that's didn't what state the press... in his response right. what he asked for, you know. Then at the end of the day, however, he has been released on bail. I think one point must be made. No individual is above, above the, law. the law. Correct. This yeah. is correct, and but also, secondly, according to the tweets secondly, that stated the church, church is a mosque. No, I'm, I'm not relying on those tweets. I'm not relying on those tweets. But the concern is that anybody, yes. can, exactly. anybody can yeah. manipulate uh, social media. No, 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 no. Yeah. But these are, like she said, these are concerned citizens raising their own points, and they are valid points as well. No, some of those people don't even exist in reality. <laughs> <laughs> now, They're what robots. is important, what's important, <laughs> is important is that nobody is above the law. Correct. You know, and uh, even when you run a business, you obey the law. But I'm hoping that, you know, Shino Pella and the police in Lagos will find a way of resolving this amicably. And know. I hope that this also inspires us to look into the issue of religious gatherings blocking the road. And I hope this inspires us to look into that as well. Thank wow. you. Because there are extra on one road. We're talking about it on well. Twitter Let's as well. Let's, Thank you. Let's just, because the fact is, it is a problem. It's Absolutely. For both sides, both Thank the Christians, you. both the Muslims. It's a big problem. I mean, this Roads is a club book. This is a club Of course, this yes, is a club. Yes, but it's leading on to another. It's leading on to another conversation. What is the difference so I don't understand? Let me ask you. It's the gathering. It's the gathering. I've never been to Quillux, but now I want to find out what 
I was. I've never I did. I had to say, it was, it was a phenomenal party, is I have it? to say. Oh. Wasn't it just a nightclub? Like, is, what, it's what's it's, it? it's like, something that they do. It's okay. a nightclub. They had performances. Kiss right. Daniel. It was. They had DJs 24-7. So you were one of the persons who blocked the road with your well, vehicle. technically, I, I didn't But impound. you were lucky. Yours drive. was not impounded. No, no, no. I didn't think you don't drive to this type of things. <laughs> but I think also the most important issue that, that should be raised here is traffic congestion. And yes. the reason and why they And were, the location yes, and of the, reason, the club as well. Correct. And the, I mean, that shouldn't even so exist. So you were also an accessory to the club. Don't talk about it. She said she was there. <laughs> she was one of the people <laughs> pollu pollu polluting the environment with noise. But I know quietly Enjoy like myself. Ketura has Thank said, you. it's been happening over the years. It's Ketura, not the first time quiet. it's happened. So how come this one particular time? <laughs> how come this one particular time is the problem? So I mean, I think that the issue of the traffic and yeah. the road construction also should be addressed really by the government. Yeah, I think they will I, resolve it yes. and probably offer advice. And let's right. also, it's, I think it's important to note that this, this club is located on an expressway. That's what I not mean. Yes. In a residential area. Yeah. And, and so what is the issue? Issue. The real issue. Mm -hmm. That's what we need to get to the bottom of. But let's take our final story, so shall we? So you mean you can't be guilty of noise pollution? Of course you way. can be. But the point is it's not in a residential area. So therefore, the noise had to be that much louder. And the club is soundproofed. So all the way outside. The, 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 the party yeah. takes place outside? I mean, it was in, out. There were speakers inside, outside, so. Oh, well, in that case, I... I, okay. I, 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 I think that's my case. case. <laughs> I will draw my case, Your Honor. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's take our final story under entertainment. A spokesperson to actor Bill Cosby has called stand-up comedian Eddie Murphy a Hollywood slave after he made jokes at Cosby's expense during his opening monologue on Saturday Night Live. During the monologue, Eddie Murphy compared his current situation to Bill Cosby's, who's currently in prison for drugging and sexually assaulting a woman at his home in 2004. Let's take a quick listen. Okay. Oh, sorry. I, I had a little um, um, video of Eddie Murphy. What, 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 what he got, said. What he yeah. said. You really, know, I, I watched you the video. Yes. You know, he, specifically what he said was, Never did I think I would yes. be a stay-at-home dad, Correct. you know, and Bill Cosby will be in jail. Mm -hmm. Now, let's throw it back to when Bill Cosby dissed Eddie Murphy and said Eddie Murphy's jokes were too dirty. You know, he, he basically accused him of being too dirty, yes. you know, too risque. too risque, sexualizing women. And Eddie Murphy was just taking a jab back at him, like, okay, now, between the both of us, who is too dirty? Clearly, <laughs> one of us is more dirty because you're the one in jail. And who is the American dad? Exactly. And who is the American dad? I'm not surprised dad now. Bill Cosby, you know, um, publicist, you said, is coming out. Andrew Watt. His, his lawyer. His lawyer is his coming out. His spokesperson, basically. His spokesperson yes, is coming out to say this. It's, it's, yes. it's expected. Correct. If you're black and there is a problem and you're doing something that is not in support of that problem, oftentimes you're seeing as the bad person. And Saturday Night Live is a big platform. It's, a, it's, an it's huge. It's huge. But let's and not he forget was that. upset that, that was the, uh, the, his opening monologue was just to take a jab at another Well, he took a jab at him first. <laughs> That's all I see. I don't see anything. I mean, Eddie Murphy did this 35 years ago. We're forgetting yes. that he brought back all of his old characters. Right. It was a significant moment. It's Christmas. They wanted to do something special for their viewers. Right. So it's expected. Right. But that jab was just like, yo, I remember when you said this to me. And I'm hitting you right back. <laughs> I think that's just all it was. But yeah, whatever, but I it was whatever it is, I think <laughs> both the Cosby <laughs> and Eddie yeah. Murphy are great uh, talents. Right. There of are course. two persons who have been able, you know, to move the needle in terms of the empowerment of blacks in the United States mm -hmm. and the promotion of the dignity, you know, of black persons. Uh, you know, people um, exchanging banter or trying to do one-upmanship. Well, all of that happens in life. You know, but I guess the position of uh, Bill Cosby's publicist is that given uh, Bill Cosby's uh, pioneer role, correct, the his first scene, African American to win an Emmy, and he's the one who opened respect. the platform for, for a, a lot, lot of, of all these African American um, actors and acts. So I think that he's, I mean, not so, that I have any respect for Bill Cosby, I'm yeah. sorry, at this point, but you so know, Eddie Murphy's I, I thought well, quite, and Bill Cosby says he has no apologies. <laughs> he has no apologies. Whatever may have and so, yeah. you know, I mean, I don't thank even you understand. Much, OG right, thank, thank you very much, Oji Thank you, guys. See you again <laughs> tomorrow morning. I think so. Christmas, yeah. right? Yes! Well, yeah. <laughs> it's well, Christmas Eve. We cannot wait, honestly.